Hey everyone, how's it going? We are eight weeks out from the Grindstone 100 right now. It's Saturday morning, August 12th. I'm starting to get really, really nervous about this race. Um, we're in single digit weeks. We are getting to that point where big miles are really, really needed. Can't wuss out anymore. Can't be taking a whole lot of time off. Uh, really got to be putting in a lot of effort at this point and it's tiring. I didn't really film anything last week So there's gonna be a little bit of a little gap in the videos. I got in 51 miles last week So it was pretty good week of training. Uh, the weekend was good uh, I'm still struggling to get these weekday runs in. Two days are really hard. Doing okay <clears throat> It's really gonna come down to, I think, these next like four weeks, these next four or five weeks, I need to just be 100% focused on this race. It's gonna be really, really important, this build up these next four or five weeks. I have been able to uh, do some longer runs during the week. Uh, this week I've gotten in two 10 milers just on a weeknight. I haven't been able to do that yet in training. Um, and it felt really good, both of them felt smooth i'm just getting really nervous i really should be out here all day and get a bunch of miles in but i'm just i'm not gonna be able to get as much as i need um because i'm working at a wedding doing audio production this afternoon and it's like right in the middle of the day so yeah i only have a couple hours this morning and then right after the wedding we have dinner plans it's just like you know life happens and trying to train around life is hard it wears on you you know, it's it's tiring. It takes a lot out of you. We're getting getting in the thick of it. It's getting hard. I'm not gonna lie, but I am enjoying myself. I do really like. Um, I do really like this training. I like the climb. I like the challenge. I like the. I like the journey. I'm coming back here to Hort Park, which is kind of my favorite thing right now um, for getting for getting good miles in. You get some decent vertical gain throughout the loop, but it just, it sucks because it's like a one mile loop. So you gotta run around in circles a lot, but that's what we have here in Northern Indiana. Oh, <clears throat> these shoes are freaking amazing. Um, the Ultra Temps, I am so in love with these shoes right now. I didn't think I would like, uh, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure about the stack height, how much cushion there was, um, but man, I'm really loving. I'm really loving these shoes. They've got really good grip. The asymmetrical lacing really locks your foot in pretty well. But starting to take these runs a little more seriously um, instead of just kind of going out and just having like a big long day. Really trying to focus on hitting loops kind of on the same time, pacing myself really well, um, really working the uphills, uh, just running up all of that, and that's really what I'm doing here. Um, there's nothing in here that's too steep to really run. That's really what these runs are about now, is running with purpose. So there's not as much carrying of the camera, uh, although I will a little bit, really trying to train well for this, and take what I know about triathlon training and really being focused and put that into the little bit of time that I have here uh, left to train. Eight weeks is nothing. It's nothing. It's gonna be here before I know it. I've really got five weeks of hard training ahead of me. You know, probably, actually probably only do like a two week taper, so I probably got like six weeks left to go. But <clears throat> six weeks is no time. Six weeks is no time at all. I'm so thankful for everything that Ultra has been doing for me um, this year. Great company, really, really care about their people. Um, and just the way they support me is awesome. And I love them, so thanks Ultra. All right, enough talk, I gotta go.
quick update. Um, I'm at 10 miles right now, two hours. Got five more miles to go. I'm getting my butt kicked today. I'm trying to go hard, really create a, uh, a tough workout today. Three hours of pretty much top of zone two, sometimes zone three. Basically trying to produce a harder effort, a much harder effort than I plan on going for the 100. Yeah, but there's no way I'm gonna be going five miles an hour um, for 100 miles. No way, so just putting out extra effort today. I produce a little bit more stimulus so that I can use my time wisely because I only have like three hours to be out here. I'm at about 1,200 feet of gain right now, so not very much at all. 120 feet per mile. It's what we got here in Indiana. Can't do a whole lot more. <laughs> I'm gonna get back at it. That's it. Just finished up 15.2 miles, almost 2,000 feet of gain, about three hours. No hiking, just running the whole time. So, really good day. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little more confident. Like today, there was no walking, no hiking, over 15 miles. And a couple weeks ago, there's no chance I would have been able to do that. So, I feel really good about that. The ultra temps were awesome again. As usual, this feel really good. I've made a lot of progress in the last couple weeks, especially. Um, ever since getting back from California, still not that high. I'm at 40 for the week right now. I'll run again tomorrow. I'll hit 50 again for sure. Um, so I'll be two weeks in a row with 50 miles. Two weeks before that, I was at like 48, 49. About four, four weeks of 50 miles. My long runs. I'm getting better. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about where training is right now. 55 days till the grindstone 100. Two weeks from now, I'll be doing a race. It's basically run as far as you can. And then a couple weeks after that, I've got another big race. Either I'm doing the Barkley 50K or a North Face 50 miler. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. Uh, yeah, that one is three weeks out from grind. I really want to do the Barkley, but I feel like I might possibly not be respecting that race enough if it's not, if I don't go into it as my A race. I would feel a little bit more comfortable doing the North Face 50 up in Wisconsin as a B race. I would feel guilty not giving the Barkley 50K 100%. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really just trying to document how I'm doing, how my training's going, the lead up to this race. If you're doing the Grindstone 100, uh, let me know. Shoot me a message or leave a comment. Um, that'd be pretty sweet to connect. So that's it.
Till next time. Bye.